know one thing that we haven't explored a lot on the Burt Show? Grandparent on grandparent hate. Grand- mm-hmm. Yeah, grandparent okay. versus grandparents. Yeah. There is a market, I guess. <laughs> We're about to get into it. All right, because as I'm reading this, it's her husband's parents that appear to be just showering their kids with gifts constantly. So I guess the grandkids and her parents, the other set of grandparents, are feeling a certain way about it. And her mom wants to talk to her husband's dad or mom this weekend. Does that make any sense? Yep, so it you does. Got grandparent on grandparent conversation. <laughs> Dear Birchu, I'd love your opinions, but I'd also love some opinions from other parents and grandparents. I know lots of grandparents like to spoil their grandchildren. This has become a bit of an issue in my own family. My husband's family has never had to struggle for money. His parents, quite well off. They like to buy my kids everything, everything. Every expensive item that my children have came from my in-laws. Their iPads, electric scooters, their VR set, everything all came from them. On top of that, they never come over to our house empty-handed. They always bring some type of toy or a gift. This really bothers my own parents. They just don't have that kind of money. They're really scraping by and don't have money for retirement, so they feel bad that they can't provide the same types of things for my children. They do spend a lot of time with my kids. However, since they both still work, they can't spend as much time as my husband's parents. My mom expects me to talk to my in-laws and get them to realize that buying all of these gifts is unnecessary. I know my mom feels like my kids like their other grandparents more because of all these things. I try to tell my mom that isn't the case, but in all honesty, I think she's right. So how do I handle it? From Leah, one eight five five Bircha. It's not about them. Yep. It's about the kids. Like, I'm sorry that them buying the kids gifts makes you feel bad, but comparison is the thief of joy. You do what you can and you spend what time you can with the kids. But I don't think it's fair to tell somebody, hey, you can't buy the kids this anymore because it makes me feel bad. Right. It's not about you. It's about the kids. Now, if the parents are like, you're spoiling our kids. We need to put our foot down. Like, if there was another issue there and the parents wanted to be like, you're overstepping your boundaries mm-hmm. with buying all this stuff, that's a different conversation because it's their kids. But when it's the other set of grandparents, if the parents don't have a problem with it and the kids aren't being like harmed or hurt in any way, then... Man, you're going to have to find a way to work through those feelings. It's It would be hard to swallow your ego on that. Totally. Like the kids are so excited for the other grandparents to come over because now they've been trained that when the other grandparents come over, they're going to get some extravagant toy. Mm-hmm. And then when her parents come over, it's like, wah, wah, what? All we're getting is time? <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> time with the grandparents? Ugh. <laughs> no, I, I, I get that. The circumstances are the circumstances, though. It definitely wouldn't be fair to have the kids get less simply because you feel a way about what the other grandparents can do. They just maybe have to be more creative about how they go about spending their time with the kids if you can't use money to do it. I'm not a parent or a grandparent, but I have had a fish. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do for your fish? I, well, it followed my husband's finger, but not mine. And I was like, he must be giving that fish gifts on the side. Uh-huh. You know, like, what is the deal? So I was always really jealous. And then when the fish got gas yeah. and he floated to the top and he couldn't uh, swim anymore. Yeah. And then he died. But I wasn't S- sad about it. So, <laughs> <You're> so <weird. laughs> What's the moral to the story here that one of the parents is going to die eventually and you're not going to be sad about it? One of the grandparents? No, I don't know where I was going with that at all. <laughs> you just wanted to get that I off think the chest. ambience still misses. So I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, good morning. You're on the Bird Show. Hi. Good morning, Bird Show. You guys are awesome. Mo, I have exactly the same feeling. I just, I believe that the parents um, should tell each of their parents to kind of come up with their own way. You know, like the dad should definitely talk to her in-laws because it's his parents and just tell them to kind of calm down a little bit. And at the same time, you know, the mom's parents shouldn't really worry about the money. If somebody's buying the kids something, it shouldn't matter how, how it's getting there. Like they should just spend time with them. But that's, we have the same problem in my family. Oh yeah. It, it doesn't matter. My parents spend as much time with my kids as possible. And my wife's parents, they have the money. So 
We just we just figure it out. I mean, the kids are going to be spoiled regardless. That's, yeah. that's the grandparents' job. Now, Eddie, yeah, are you talking about are you talking about real children? Or are you talking about goldfish like Davi was? I mean, we're talking about real. It was a beta <laughs> fish. We never had a fish. I'm actually talking about real. <laughs> then don't call up with parenting advice if you've never had a goldfish. It was a beta fish. His name was Fat Tony. Fat Tony the beta fish. Yes. <laughs> you called it Fat Tony. His name was Fat Tony. <laughs> I uh, I think I've told you guys about the fish tank I had like back in high school. No. Oh my god, I got so into it. This was going to be my brand new hobby. Aww. Was like you seem like an aquarium guy. Well, you it, actually do, yeah. and I don't do know I? why. Really? There's yeah. a, no, there's a fanciness that comes with aquarium guys. A fanciness. Got it. So that yeah. wasn't the adjective. Yeah. No, like, <laughs> no I think you seem like a fancy aquarium guy. Is what I'm trying to okay. say. Okay. Yes. Like Bert would have the fish that you're like, the hell is that? Or and the one with like, the jellyfish in it. Yeah. 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 Like I got that on the side. Don't tell anybody. Well, so you. Well, we didn't. I didn't come from a family that had a lot of money for anything, and it certainly wasn't going to be an extravagant fish tank. But I don't know how I got into it. I think I was reading a book, and I decided that you know what I'm going to I'm going to do because now I realize that you could mix this type of guppy with this color tail with a different guppy with this color tail, and you could manipulate the tails and the colors, and then you could turn around and you could sell them. Uh, this is awesome, man. <laughs> huh. This is really cool. So, so I started mating guppies right <laughs> I swear to god why does every you know? guy have like a mating animals phase like I know too many guys that were like you know what I'm doing now I quit my job I'm gonna sell bearded dragons and like it just every dude goes through yours was guppies and I that's adorable how have I known you for a decade and I did not know you had a past hobby of mating guppies well I think you'll remember the end of the story because I've told it before it ended horribly like the brothers and sisters started mating with each other, and the moms were, like, doing it with their kids and stuff. So by the time that I was done, I never sold one guppy. It was like the fish tank of misfit toys. Aww. It was Aww. like they aquarium. had four eyes. Yes. You could see oh. through some of the guppies. They were begging to get out of it. <laughs> Help me. It was really, really what? bad. Yeah, no, man. you had You're never. A bad person. You made mutated guppies. <laughs> you, you had X Men guppies. <laughs> <laughs> it was like their outside, the insides were growing on the outside. Oh, oh my what God. What did you do wrong? I don't Everything. know. Everything. Get inbreeding, man. It. FYI, I have never heard that story. <laughs> That's amazing. I would remember see through guppies. Like, you have never told that story. I don't think I've read through the entire manual on exactly how to do it. I think I just got bored with it. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> this tail goes with that tail, and it'll make a purple tail. It'll be awesome. But I think when the grandfather, like, Guppy started having sex with the grandkid, it really messed oh, up. All right, man. All right. <laughs> This, Man, this is nasty. I am, I, I'm disgusted, but I'm so happy with this tangent. <laughs> you guys, this is great. Thanks, you guys Dottie. ever hear of the movie the, the Island of Dr. Moreau? Yes. yes. That's what the fish you tank was. Like. <laughs> <laughs> the Bird Show.